4.2. Right, let's look at this. So, a worker at the oil refinery intends, intends converting her double door garage into a bigger living room by building double bricked walls to replace both of the doors. So basically here, instead of doors, she's going to build brick walls. Okay, here's how the bricks are delivered. And then this is just a little um, side view and an incomplete diagram showing the pattern of how the bricks will be. So just to help us understand, right? So it's quite important that we look at this because we're going to need this in particular for our calculation. So don't just discount it as pictures. It actually helps us. So then we have 525 bricks per pallet at a price of 6,45 per brick. Your bricks be expensive. Um, but bricks are only sold per pallet. So you can't be like, mm, I don't, well, I just want 600 bricks. You have to buy two pallets of bricks. Okay, that's just how it works. And then it says half bricks are thrown away, not reused. So that's quite important to know. Okay, so let's go and look at the first question. So the first question here says, determine the total number of pallets of bricks needed to replace both garage doors. Okay, so what we're going to start with is we're going to say, okay, well, how much do we need for one wall and let's work from there okay so let's just see here at the bottom of the wall we have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine and a half right but they told us that it was going to be a double wall do you remember double bricked so each row is going to have nine and a half times two because it's double bricked okay so we're going to say here okay nine and a half times two and that gives me 90 okay so each um, row is going to have 19 bricks okay but now when you say okay well how many rows are there okay so let's count how many rows one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so we then need to say okay well 19 times 20 so that's how much we're going to need for one wall so let's just hoi it in there wait 19 times 20. So for one wall, we're going to need 380 bricks. Okay. But the problem is, is well, it's not a problem, but we know that there's two walls, right? It's not just one wall. So we actually need to say 380 times two because we have two walls, right? So I'm just going to write in here one wall, just so that you're following along with me. But it's two walls, right? So if it's times this by two, so she's going to need 760 bricks. Okay. Now, Remember I said she can only buy it in pallets, so now 525 is not going to be enough. Um, and so she's going to have to buy two pallets of bricks, right? Because she can't buy exactly that many bricks, she has to buy two pallets. So therefore, you say, therefore, two pallets of bricks. Okay, so you have to work like quite methodically, um, but not a difficult question, that one. Easy to get five out of five. Let's not get seven out of seven for our next question. Okay, so next question little bit more involved but we can do this it's one of our costing questions so it says the opening of a garage door has dimensions 2.13 times 3 meters other costs to build the double brick wall include material other than bricks so that's like cement and things like that 2000 rand and then labor is 500 rand per square meter okay so that's quite important so we're going to have to work out how many square meters there are and then times that by 500 to see how much labor we're going to need or how much that's going to cost. The owner states that the total cost to replace both garage doors with walls would be 15,200. And now we have these one of these classic maths lit questions. Verify her statement. So you have to say, is she right? Or is she wrong? They've given us a nice little formula here for area. We know we're going to need that because we need to work on our square meters. Um, because that's going to determine our labor. So let's just do that first. So we're going to say, well, the area, oh, wow, I spelled area weirdly there, is going to be 2,13 times 3, okay? So we're going to put that in. But please remember, we also have to times that by 2. Why? Because there's two walls, right? So there's the area of 1, but there's two walls. So we have to times by 2. So that's why I'm doing that. So 2,13 times 3 times 2. So put that in there, and that's 12,78 meters squared. Right, now we need to say, okay, given that that is our square meterage, we then need to take that, and we need to times it by 500, because that's going to give us our labor costs, right? Um, so, because it's 500 rand per meter squared. Um, so we put that in there, and that's going to cost us 6,300 
and 90. Okay, so that's our labor. I'm just going to put that in brackets so that we know what's cracking. So there's labor, but we're not done, right? Now we have to do the whole brick situation, right? So that's the labor, but how much are the bricks going to cost? Well, we know that we have to buy two pallets. Okay, we've already done that from the first question. So it's going to be two pallets and each has 525 bricks and each brick costs 6,45, okay? So we're going to have to times all of that and that's going to give us our brick cost. You know, it's turning into an expensive project. Maybe she should just leave the doors, okay? So that's going to be seven, I mean six, seven, seven, oh, two. Yes, I'm right. That's how much the bricks are going to be. Okay, just putting that in there so that you like know what I'm doing. Then, remember, please don't forget about this. There's this other material of 2,000 Rand. Okay, so now we have to say, okay, well, total is going to be 6390 plus 6772,50 seven, two, plus 2,000, right? Because those are all the costs that we need to include. So let's make sure that we add all of them together. Be careful to type it in correctly. Ah, oh, I even said that, and then I even did things wrong. Uh, our girl. Okay, let's try that again. 6772,50. Okay, so the total is going to be, ta-da, is going to be 15162,50. Okay, but we're not done because we have to do the whole verifying, verifying statement. So verifying statement is not going to be this. It's going to be close. Let's be honest. She's not too far off, but the statement is not fully correct. So therefore, we say, therefore, not valid or incorrect or anything like that but you have to say this because a mark is allocated there okay so that was a nice juicy question we have one more question for this video and then we're going to move on to our last question being question five so let's just look here give one suitable reason why the bricks have to be placed on a wooden pallet so this is one of these ones where it's like common sense central so the easiest thing i think to say is it makes it it makes transport easier, okay? Transport is made easier. But you could say things like, it protects the bricks from damage, um, it's easier to lift, like, because the forklift comes underneath into the pallets and it lifts it up, right? So it's easier to transport, it makes counting easier, lots of different reasons. Just give one, make sure that it's logical, and then be done and go on to question five.